Today, we will take a look at the inspiring journey of Sushant Divgikar, an Indian model, actor, performer, singer, and video jockey who has become a proud advocate for the LGBTQ community in India. Crowned Mr. Gay India in 2014, Sushant has represented India in the Mr. Gay World pageant and has made significant contributions towards raising awareness and promoting acceptance of the LGBTQ community in India. We will delve into Sushant's love for performing, his passion for singing, and his journey into the world of drag as Rani Ko Hinoor. Despite facing challenges, Sushant's determination and perseverance have led him to find a place for himself both nationally and internationally. His story is a testament to the growing acceptance of alternative expressions of identity in post-colonial India and serves as an inspiration for the LGBTQ community in India and beyond. So, if you are new, subscribe to our channel and also give us a like. Now let's continue with the story. Sushant Divgikar is a proud supporter of the LGBTQ community in India. He is a model, actor, performer, singer, and video jockey. He was crowned Mr. Gay India in 2014 and represented India in the Mr. Gay World pageant. Sushant is very close to his parents, and his mother, Bharati, runs an NGO in Kolkata for underprivileged and abandoned children. His parents have always been supportive of his sexual orientation and consider themselves his lucky mascots. Sushant was always interested in performing, and his love of singing earned him a spot on India's Got Talent, where judges like Kiran Kerr and Karen Johar praised him. He later participated in Big Boss Season 8 and was given a chance to speak at TEDx Talks in February 2018. Drag is a fairly new art form in India, but Sushant took it up because he loves to perform. Under the drag persona of Rani Kohi Noor, Sushant has found a place for himself both nationally and internationally. In an interview, he said, When in my drag avatar, I sing and entertain audiences in what I call an exchange of energy. Performing drag is performing an entire entertainment package, with an elaborate opening act and a troupe of supporting artists. Because Sushant is gay, he has had trouble in the music business. For example, some producers have refused to work with him, but he thinks that regional producers are more forward-thinking, and he has kept doing what he loves, which is singing. Sushant's drag performances have been well-received, and he plans to go on a drag tour of India soon. He believes that if actors and musicians can do tours, drag performers should be able to do so as well. Sushant is proud of his drag persona and has shed all inhibitions, saying, you should never be ashamed of yourself. Sushant is an inspiration for the LGBTQ community in India, and his journey from Mr. Gay India to Rani Ko Hinoor is a testament to the growing acceptance of alternative expressions of identity in post-colonial India. Sushant Divgikar's story is a shining example of courage, perseverance, and dedication. As a vocal advocate for LGBTQ rights and acceptance, Sushant has broken barriers and stereotypes in the Indian entertainment industry, paving the way for more representation and inclusion. His journey from Mr. Gay India to Rani Kohi Noor is a powerful testament to the transformative power of self-expression and the importance of being true to oneself. Sushant's passion for performing and his unwavering commitment to his art form serve as inspirations for countless people in India and around the world. His story is a reminder that there is always a place for diversity and acceptance in our communities and that true success comes from following one's dreams and passions, no matter the obstacles. Now you tell me what you think about him and write it in the comment box. Thank you. You're a mom now. Yes. You have your kids. Yeah. This is also a culture that goes back 4,000 years. The Gharana culture where there would be a trans mom who would adopt and raise yeah. trans children. Tell us about it. It's the most fascinating, amazing feeling, again you will know, 
to be a mother the difference between us is that you gave birth to yours and i raised mine and um and i didn't have to give them birth i'll honestly tell you i love them more than anything like i have a niece <laughs> uh she's the the apple or in everything of my um but these kids did not get that love from their birth their parents their biological parents and so as a mother i figured that i don't have to have give i didn't have to have given them birth all i had to give them was love <laughs>